Hey, before I get into the video, in case you guys don't know this, I'm going to be hosting a ton of open lobbies throughout the season, such as Team Rumble, squads, maybe duos. If you guys want to be a part of that, all you have to do is add my Epic ID. It's on screen right now. Comment down below your Epic ID so I can accept it. And with that said, I can't wait to see you guys in my lobby and enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, I'm Nick Arik here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day or night so far. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys basically the best places to land throughout the whole entire map in solos, duos, squads, casual, competitive, anything like that. I'm going to be showing you guys the best spots. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. As always, if you guys are new to my channel and don't know what I do, make sure you guys subscribe for everything regarding Fortnite news. I'm telling you guys right now, with Fortnite Chapter 2 just starting, you guys won't be disappointed by subscribing. I'll love to have you on this channel as well. And with all that said, let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so speaking of locations, I want you to let me know down below in the comments section before I tell you guys the best ones, where's your favorite place to land at on the map as of right now? I want to know your thoughts on this and honestly, I would love to know and I'm generally interested in what you guys think because some of these locations that you're about to tell me, they could potentially be one of the ones I'm about to tell you. So with all that said, I want to get right into the first location and that's going to be to the top right above Frenzy Farms and as you guys can see, it's at this hill, but this hill is not the only location. As you go slowly down the hill after you grab that one chest, you guys can see there's three chests and also there's mushrooms trees bricks around the whole entire thing one of the best place to land for solos but now i honestly i'm not going to spend too much time with this location i want to get right to the next one and that's going to be at the bottom right part of the map over at this place called camp cod and this is a duo slash squad spot. Once you guys go to this location, as you guys can see, there's a ton of buildings. A lot of buildings equals a lot of chests. And there's also a lot of ammo boxes too. There's a lot of places you can fish to get even better loot. And everything like that. Overall, just a great place to land. And if you guys actually want to get out of there, because I know you're thinking, Nick, it's so far away from the circle. You can actually go from the boat and then go up the river. And this river goes throughout the whole entire map. So that's pretty easy. A nice way to leave that location. But now let's get right into the next one. And that's going to be over at Slurpee Swamps. And this can be a duo slash solo spot. And this location is great, not just because of the building. That's obviously great. A lot of buildings equals a lot of chests equals a lot of loot. But once you walk in these buildings, you guys can see there's a ton of these chug splash things. I don't know what you want to call them, but once you break it, you'll then be getting shield. If you're solo, you'll then get full shield off the bat. And if you have a duo with you, then you and your duo will definitely get full shield off the bat. And another reason why I love this location is once you guys leave it, there's a boat that spawns right there. So you can just go around the swamp on that boat, go to different houses, and bang, you're easily going to win that game, I guarantee it. But now let's get right into the next location, and that's going to be this little army looking base, whatever you want to call it. And this is, it can be a solo, but it also can be a duo spot if you would like to. So this place is called Ego Hangar. As you guys can clearly see, off the bat, there's a nice army looking base there. There's two chests in there. Once you guys leave that place, there's a little hut looking thing, whatever you want to call it. There's a chest in there and a gun above it. And this is where the best part of this place gets in if you're a solo or a duo. If you guys go down to the left on the little beach area, there's all these houses and almost every single house has one chest in it. So honestly, that's a great place to go for either solo or a duo. But now let's get right into the next location. That's going to be over at this snowy hills looking place. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is a great spot to land for a solo. So within this spot, as you guys can see, there is one house that has, I think, about four chests in it. The next house, which is right next to it, has about three or two chests in it. And then the place that's actually with the little hanger thing, whatever you want to call it, I don't know what that is. Then you guys can see there is one chest up there. So within this location, there's a ton of loot that you can get. Also, if you guys go down the mountain, there's a ton of trees you can get for materials. Honestly, a great place to land for solos. I really suggest you guys land there. I did there, and I'm pretty sure I won that game. I'm 99.9% sure. But now let's get right to the next location, and this is actually going to be a little solo solo slash duo spot but it is away from the map a little bit so this location it's like a little beachy kind of vibe it's at the top right of the map honestly i would like to go here if i was listening to music you know trying to chill out with my friends just talk out a little bit this could potentially be a squad spot if you're pushing that i'm not really sure about that but as you guys can clearly see it there's a ton of chests here a ton of loot if you guys want to chill it's a great spot to land if you i don't want to go too much into that because honestly there's really not that much there let's get right into the next location and that's going to be above frenzy farm this time we had one that was at the top left but now we have one that's above it this location is great for a squad or duo and if you want to risk it go for that during solos because there's a great amount of houses there's a great amount of wood you can get from trees there's a great amount of chests there everything like that you name it it's a great place to land and on top of that if you're done with that you guys can go down the frenzy farms and get a bunch of illuminations with the great loot that you got so honestly great spot to land there 
So with all those great locations out of the way, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see a part two, if we get 50 likes on this video, I'm going to then make a part two with better locations, better loot, everything like that. So drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You won't be disappointed. I would love to have you on this channel as well. Don't do anything stupid. Don't get clickbaited. I'll see you guys in a couple hours or tomorrow, and I cannot wait. Peace out.